The Detroit Symphony Orchestra welcomes back a well-known jazz player after an incident that drew national attention. You may remember last month Cyrus Chestnut was performing a Charlie Brown Christmas when an audience member yelled a racial slur. Tonight, the jazz player took the stage at DSO again. Our Paula Tapman talked to Chestnut tonight. She joins us live and Paula, he really just wants to put that incident behind him, right? Well, I, I, absolutely, but he certainly doesn't want to walk away from it either. Good evening to you and good evening, everyone. Cyrus Chestnut has been performing music and teaching professionally for decades. He says he has never been racially attacked while performing on stage until December 9th here at the DSO. He says getting back on stage tonight was actually really, really difficult. But I do want you to know today, four days after his 60th birthday, Detroit wrapped its arms around him and celebrated him Detroit style. Detroit is that town. Come to the symphony on a snowy Sunday as you are, wearing Carhartt to Cartier, sneakers and stilettos alike. All races, religions, all people in a single endeavor to love equally music. Tonight at the DSO, a do-over to correct the record for those who don't know this it's a hate-free zone. And then it was told to me that the woman I was with him was on a Tinder date. Definitely a reason to swipe to the other side. In response to a man, reportedly, likely, drunk, no excuse, new to the DSO, still no excuse, here on someone else's ticket, December 9th, exclaimed loudly the F-bomb and then used the N-word towards the musicians on stage in a shocking public display of racism. Cyrus was at the piano. It made me very sad. It's like, wow, even in this day and time, something like that, I would imagine happening back in 1940, 1950. But here in 2022, going into 2023, haven't we learned anything? You know, and it, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. Tonight, the DSO addressed it. Even though the show continued, you know, that energy was still in the room. And minced no words. His ain't coming back ever. And inviting Cyrus Chestnut back, performed his own act of defiance in the face of ignorance and hate. And the audience wrapped these musicians in love as they played a short set. This is still deeply painful for Cyrus Chestnut and his musicians because to him this is so much bigger than just words someone yelled out. It was the comfort and ease in which these words were said in a public venue with a feeling of safety that there would be no repercussions or challenge. And that's why it was so difficult for Mr. Chestnut to return to the DSO stage. To sit down at the piano and then just look across and still at some point hear, 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 hear that statement being thrown out into the atmosphere. If I turn away, then I give energy to that ugly statement and the ugly spirit that it represents. I can't do that. Yeah, I also want to, I, I want to give some clarification because we've all been under the understanding when I say all media, we've been under the understanding that that attendee, that audience member has been banned. That actually is not the case. DSL knows who he is. They've got a picture of him. Apparently they've made contact. They've made it clear he is not welcome back at this venue, but logistically and mechanically, it's very complicated to actually realistically ban someone. They are looking for the mechanism in order to do that. Should he ever even want to come back, of course, their hope is that he will not. Pamela? All right, Paula, thank you.